right, pretty lengthy one for, for our pick and stuff this week. So as it says there at the top, try getting it up to two, uh, to 100 beats per minute. I think that's a good, good goal for this. So break this down as much as you need to. So that should be the easiest right there. So if you're going to break it down as like a section by section thing, at least end with the first note of the next section. So that current highlighted part would be a good thing to work up by itself. This would be a good thing to work up by itself. This would be a good thing to work up by itself. And of course, all that would be good to work up, to work up by itself. <clears throat> So it's playing along with Guitar Pro, drums and MIDI guitar, at least 50% of the time would be good. Uh, and then, yes, following along with just the metronome would be okay. Guitar Pro's MIDI guitar and just the metronome would be good. Um, and perhaps the very last time you practice, try it with just the old metronome, like I'm going to do here. But I really want you to keep util utilizing, utilizing the drums along with this to really help you hear and get that rhythm in the subconscious. So, let's see if we can do this at 50, 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E. Apparently I can't get through it yet. All right, take two. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E. Same spot as before. All right, from the top, one, two, three, four.
There it is. All right, let's demonstrate the descending the scales one string at a time. <clears throat> High E string. One, two, three, four. B string. One, two, three, four. G string, one, two, three, four. Wow, I don't know what happened there. My fingers just decided to stop working. One, two, three, four. D string, one, two, three, four. A string, one, two, three, four. And the low E, one. Two, three, four. That is that. All right. Any questions come up, let me know. I will see you again next week.